Hey there, so I wanted to just quickly share with you the new planner that I picked up from TJ Maxx. This one is for 2019 and it was $7.99. It is by the Clementine Paper Company. So anyway, I filmed the planner that I purchased for the last year and a half and everyone seemed to like it so I thought I would share this one that I picked up, like I said, it was under $8. And I normally get one that's thicker. This one is more like a notebook style, but I kind of like that. Um, I think they may be easier to write in. And I really liked this cover. There were several options, but I really liked the colors in this. And it matches my Ballet Pink Kate Spade planner. So anyway, I will go ahead and do a flip through of this. And if you're interested, then keep on watching. So the first sheet is just blank. And then it does include a sheet of stickers. I found that I did not use the stickers really in the last planner that I purchased, but these are nice and thin. So I may find that I do use them this year. We'll see, I guess. And then it just has the cover page. It's 2019 weekly and monthly layout. And then it's got, I don't know that I really ever use these things, but a place for you to put like your personal information, emergency contacts, and then like contacts for you to put people's names and numbers with, you know, iPhones and stuff. I don't find myself using them, but whatever it's there and then we have a yearly overview for 2019 and 2020 um, sometimes I do reference these if I'm planning ahead especially if it's like December and I'm wanting to look forward into the next year for January and then it does have a list of all of the holidays which I do find helpful I was over there in the background and then I really like that it has at the beginning of each month, kind of this cover page with your goals, your to-do list, any birthdays, important dates, like holidays and stuff like that. I do like having a reference page, especially in my business, because then I can write down like video ideas or deadlines and stuff like that. And then it does have a month on two pages. What I liked about this is that the boxes are nice and large because I do like to write down like any blogs or videos I do, plus deadlines with um, brands or whatever that I'm working with. I like to be able to just look and see, um, you know, the whole month overview, what I have going on. And then from there, I can break down my tasks on my weekly view. So the weekly view, as you can see, is a week on two pages with a little note section at the bottom. Um, they are lined. And it's just straight up lines. The The planner that I used this year had like a box that was blank and then lines. But I think this will be helpful to keep track of my um, tasks and to-dos. And the months are color-coded as you can see. Each month is a different shade which is kind of cool. I'll just quickly flip through. And then what I like is that it does include like the first week of January. Um, I do find that that's helpful so you can kind of plan ahead and maybe you don't quite have your planner for the next year picked out yet. So I do like having that. And then in the back there is just a single sheet for notes and then another blank kind of cover page and then the back. Now the pages do seem to be a little bit thin, um, but I typically use just a regular ballpoint pen. But I do normally use color highlighters to um, categorize like videos, blogs, um, deadlines, and stuff like that. So I'll be curious to see how 
you know, much of those bleed through. And I just noticed that they have a little spot for gratitude on each month. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, this is a good budget planner for well under $10. If you've used this, let me know. So anyway, if you've used any planners by this Clementine brand, or if you find yourself using more of the notebook size versus, um, like this is the planner that I used, if you remember, I purchased this and did a video on that for 2018. So it's a lot thicker. And then the planner that I use, so I use this Kate Spade Wellesley for my personal stuff to keep track of my work schedule, uh, family stuff, things like that. So anyway, I think these look cute together and I'm excited to give this a try for 2019. And I'm always looking for new planners. So comment below with your very favorite planner you've ever used. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.